bomb had redeemed. Sorry, I just didn't want to do face cam and make it all a joke when we we're talking about that shit. But there's my nose. And I'm running from the feds. Where's this money from propane, bitch? I feel like Pablo Escobar, but I'm um, Should I try to play Fortnite? Take into account I've only ever played the BR mode like maybe two times, and that was way back when it tried out. Do some solo games. See how you like it. I, I'm, I'm going to start doing some more solo games, too. Uh, not that I don't love playing with the homies, but I think I want to start warming up with some solo games. Just seeing if I can get some solo crowns, things like that. Um, but do it. See, how, see if you like it. I love it, but it just depends on how much you like PvP, you know? I'm a big fan. Like, when I play a video game, if I can't go and wreck somebody else uh, and metaphorically rub my nuts across their face, it's usually not as fun of a game to me. But that's just because I really like PvP. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, no build. 100%. 100%. Yeah, do some uh, do some solo games, and if you like it, you're more than welcome to join up. Science, you know that. Um, okay, what is this? Uh, live stream fails. Streamer rated epics released from Chang Gang. We just saw that. Penta on the rated epics drama. Eh, I'm gonna skip that. I'm not. I've never been a big fan of Penta. Um. See, Kit Boga forgets he had a fun picture of himself on the webcam. Okay. Kit, that's crazy. Kit Boga is still streaming. I like never see him live anymore. Maybe it's always when I'm asleep. I'm sorry. I'm just, you're, you're just, I just, um, I'm a little, I'm a little flustered right now. Um, Exactly. Ramen will do that, Carrie. Her back will be hurting the whole way. Okay. Wait, so what happened? Oh! There was a, uh, Go ahead. Oh, he had his webcam showing. That okay. Went through. Got it. Uh huh. And I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> no! Okay. I forgot the webcam! <laughs> No. Uh, a, <laughs> Did he hang up? Oh I my. wanted to talk to that guy too. He's like trying so hard. Yep, he to ended. Be professional. Oh damn! All right, fucked it up. Um, Sydney accidentally cues after school's out. Uh oh. Hey, Lynn, help! Help! My I drug gate could it blow, dude. Yeah, oh, yeah! 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 Guys, what's your gun sound like? Oh. <laughs> so I require cool. assistance, please. Uh oh. Please. Hey guys, let's go. Oh, Seasight. Why is there no footage? Oh, Why is it a blank screen? What's going on here? To my team, there we go. Lynn. Help! Help! My I drug gate could it blow, dude. Yeah! Oh, yeah! 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 Guys, what's your gun sound like? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I require cool. assistance. Please. Here we go. Please. It's gonna be the best game of your life, Sydney. Hey guys, let's go. Oh, see sight. Best game know, of your, know, your life. Just stick with them. Don't give it to me. Sound like a great A team. <laughs> what's your gun sound like? Oh. <laughs> it's my team, Lynn. Okay, anyway. At least she didn't experience any sexism in that clip. They didn't yell at her in any weird way. They were just being a bunch of. Kids after school, you know. Brit uh, plays a guessing game. All right, let's see. Oh, All right, go, go, go. Okay, uh, oh, it's so cute. It's a little dog. It's a little dog. It's, it's, a little it's dog. the child version of a dog. <laughs> I wish you could it's see her face. It's the child version of a dog. A cat. <laughs> it's oh, a chihuahua. <laughs> oh. Is that tricky? Oh, fuck. She hasn't been on Twitch in a... I don't even... Maybe she still streams. I haven't seen her in... Ever. <laughs> Wait, what was the joke though? All right, go, go, go. Puppy. Okay. okay uh, oh, it's so cute. It's a little dog. It's a little dog. It's, it's, a little it's dog. the child version of a dog. I wish you could it's see her face. It's the child version of a dog. A cat. <laughs> A 
Okay, whatever. Moving on. Uh, Moist Critical explains why Twitch's new sponsored stream experience is bad for streamers. I don't really know about this. I saw this posted the other day. I don't know anything about it, though. But the, the whole thing is one of their statements is you can now have the brand sponsor gift subs. So they will pay for your community's gift subs, which is supposed to be money that they would be paying you for doing the sponsored stream. Mm. But now it's being split with Twitch because they're doing gift subs for the money. Wait, the what? That's so stupid. So they're taking 50% what... of the payment that Great. you should once be again, getting Twitch, once again. for doing the sponsored stream, which is a stupid idea. Yep, just make more people go over to kick Twitch. Do it. Just make it happen. God, what idiots. What dummies. Um, for small streamers, it's still going to be great. Like, for small streamers, there's plenty of small streamers who still take it, but hopefully big streamers say fuck that and they leave and go to kick. <laughs> and then Twitch will change up. Stop doing stupid shit like that. Um, but, uh... Okay, Nick tells Sin of the story about his grandma. And she fell out of the stairs. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Wait, what? Whoa. And she fell out of the stairs. Sinna! Oh. <laughs> Sinna! I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm really sorry for your loss. It's kind of like an amusement park ride. It's right. Yo. Like, wait. Falling down the stairs. Wait, was she okay and, though? No, because like when she fell down the stairs, like she fu it fucked her up and she started like like violently throwing up everywhere, and she was like covered. Her what? Sinna. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> but is she still alive? Right? <laughs> it killed her. What? It killed her? Yes. How she died? I'm trying to tell <laughs> no. you. What? That's how Wait. she died. <laughs> oh my this god. It's not funny. It's. I'm really sorry. She died like that? Yeah, she fell down the stairs and I'm died. Crying. I'm crying. I'm crying because it's really sad. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. What do you think is the best way to die, Nick? How would you not like being died? Okay, you want to hear something? Cinna, Squeaks, Caroline, Will Neff. They're all getting signed to OTK. I bet it's going to happen this same fucking day. They're all going to have like one announcement. Get ready. Um, they might all have separate announcements, but I think that's going to happen. XUC says that he confirmed the wire transfer one and a half days ago. Okay, yeah, this drama, who gives a fuck? XQC was going to join a Valorant team and then ghosted them, and then they called him out for it, and then he said he was going to pay, like, half a month of, like, what he owed them or something. I don't even know why he would owe them money. I'm so confused, but he was going to pay them like $25,000. He says he's confirmed the transfer to go through. One person from the Valorant team is like, I haven't been paid yet. He hasn't paid us. But I don't. I don't care. Moving on. Bro, that's not it. That's not, that's not it. XQC on people paying for OnlyFans content. What, they're based Giga Chads? I'm sorry. I respect all creators. I do. I think that, I just think that, Buying OnlyFans shit is what I think is one of the most degenerational. Oh God! XQC's been on this arc of the Aiden Ross arc of man, porn is corrupting the minds. It's bad. Mankind. Yeah, he, yo, man, he thinks he's cooking so hard right now. But you gotta see his face when he said that. Like actually, it's still like, legitimately. Oh my God, I that, bro! I just think that buying OnlyFans shit is what I think is one of the most. <laughs> Degenerational action of a mankind. Yeah, not gambling though. <laughs> not gambling. <laughs> oh, what a dumb take. Of mankind, like actually. Yeah, like, the like, worst like, porn. Yep, the worst. It is one of the most deliberate life. Literally just holding water for religious zealots injury. right now. Brain rotting activity that anybody's ever come up with. You know, I have a feeling XQC has been very down bad and he's probably been trying to hit up some OnlyFans girls and they're just denying him and he's like, fuck this! I thought me subscribing was gonna get them to wanna like me. Damn it! Well, that, this is degenerate shit. It. I don't like it anymore.
He's like, I struck out with Mia, Exo Ariel, Amaranth, all of them. God damn it. Um, uh, Jendalyn Meowry, Dan Dangler, I failed every single one. Um, uh, there you, you just want to support her. There you go, science. You might, you probably don't even consume the content. You just want to support her. There you go. That's based. Um, uh, Moist Critical says once his contract with Twitch is over, he will multi-stream to other platforms, most notably YouTube. Do you think this will good? I honestly hope more people keep moving to Kick, YouTube, and doing that because all that's gonna mean is more for me, baby. Please, and it'll be better for me and everybody else that stays on Twitch because eventually Twitch will be like, oh fuck, we can't do whatever we want all the time. We gotta listen to our creators. A big exodus to YouTube. This change in particular? No, absolutely not. The 50-50 split will already has started taking at least some level of effect. For example, I'm not going to be exclusive on Twitch once my contract runs out. I, I will absolutely multi-stream. There would be literally no reason to be exclusive on Twitch anymore, and I imagine the vast majority of people on Twitch will too. It'd just be silly too. I, you, oh, true... True science, it's crazy to me that Twitch has never upgraded their encoding hardware to be able to push higher uh, bit rates and resolutions. But uh, at the same time, I don't care how good YouTube streams look over Twitch streams, there's nothing that's going to make me go watch a YouTube stream. Nothing. I don't care how much better they look, but I, I think Twitch is so behind in that department. So that this like my I don't bit, think is my have bit any rate is capped like out at six thousand on Twitch, whereas like on YouTube it's like unlimited or anything. But the sub split and the more intrusive ads and the higher reliance on ads absolutely has and will continue to take a big effect on people streaming here. I hope I hope more big streamers continue to do this. It's not up to any small streamers to be like, okay, we need to start boycotting and moving platforms. That is just a bad business move. I feel like. For myself, um, to be going, trying to go other places and like uh, stretch it out. But for bigger streamers, please start protesting, start making moves like this. So hopefully Twitch will listen. Um, XQC explains why he ghosted the Valorant team. Oh, okay. Let's just hear real quick. And then, I didn't um, hear this. I was just there was just a lot happening, and I just got kind of like blindsided. And I was embarrassed. And yeah, at the end. So are you saying YouTube only goes up to six or eight k? Because I know they go way higher than that. I, I definitely. It's I it. Like I've heard people say, like sixteen k. Okay, but so there are things that I just couldn't say, that, and it would make it would make sense not to explain. I thought, uh, I, okay, maybe my managers are gonna clutch. No, and they yeah, Twitch is capped out at six. Them, not me anymore, right? At that point. You can set so it bad. higher than that, but it's not gonna go higher than that. I felt so embarrassed about some of this shit that I was dealing with, that um I I agreed. To paying them a month salary or half the half Unless they salary. changed it recently, but um, it's always for the been time six. they spent waiting, whatever. So I would pay them the full amount, and it, the amounts were pretty big too. Uh, I think they were up to par to like some of the some of the good teams. I mean, or, or I mean, they're good, but I think don't care. Okay, yeah, I thought I was gonna care, but I don't. Um, bro pretended to be an NPC. Okay, so a week after XQC said Hassan should be banned for what he was watching, he's now watching the same content. Well, it wasn't bad. It Probably trying to prove a point. I bet XQC hopes that he sees like a dead body and then gets banned for it so he can prove a point. It doesn't have it, it doesn't have the full hit. It, all it has to do is clip it. But I bet he won't bit. get banned. Thank you. Oh wait, now he's got him. Northbound turn on oh. Cortland Avenue. Who, Another who the fuck is this guy? Running <laughs> They're going to take him into custody in short order here, and the driver is continuing once again. So now three people have jumped out of this vehicle. He tried it. He tried it. Again, a... It could work. If you get out at the right time, it could work, you know. Um, most fact-based Dexterdo article? God damn it. I'm not his fucking fiance, man. <laughs> Dexterdo about to start quoting chatters. You gotta watch oh, the wow. clip. It sounds way worse. Just what I, what no, did I say? Fans I convinced Will Neff is joining OTK to. after comments from fiance. Has Will Neff officially... Is, has he left 100 Thieves yet? 
I don't think he has. I think he's still a part of 100 Thieves. So I don't think he's like... I think that would be breaching contract if he was like talking about leaving to go somewhere else. Publicly. I literally just mean like next moves in life as far as like what we want to do with our lives. Okay, so Caroline leaked it. So Will Neff is... Ha I said this months ago, guys. I said that this was going to happen months ago, okay? Um, I'm just not a fan, uh, not an LSF fan for some reason. Just don't, oh yeah, I love LSF. Love it. I don't like the, like whenever there's some like horrible shit going on and there's like people uh, brigading against like somebody. I'm not a fan, but I, I love LSF for the Twitch, keeping up with Twitch news. It's great. Um, OTK about to die if he joins. Wait, why? Why is it? Why is OTK gonna? If OTK hasn't died already, I feel like OTK is on their redemption arc big time. To me, and adding Will Neff would make it even better, especially if they add Sina, Will Neff, Caroline, and Squeaks. That's like it's like a whole new org at that point. You know, I feel like that's what they're trying to do. Um. Governor confirms XQC did not pay the Valorant team. Don't care. Moon Moon quits his streaming job. Okay, let's see. Oh, all right. I'm going to take as many breaks as I want to. You want to know why? Because for the last six, almost seven years, every time I've called streaming a job, you said job in quotes and Omega left. Jay Every Omega time I said my office, referring to the Jay place Omega I from, you guys said office, Omega laughing. So guess what? I must not be at a real job, right? By that logic, which means I can stand up right now and leave. Get him. Peace. Peace. There we go. I <laughs> get oh. fucked. There we go. All right. I'm going to take this. I love Moon Moon. Moon. Moon Moon is the reason why Twitch is what it is today. Um, He killed G4 OTK. <laughs> Shit. That's right. Will Nev single-handedly brought down G4 TV. Exactly. It's not like Will Nev was the one trying to keep it alive by giving them like really good content. Yep. True. If I honestly, if G4 had listened more to people like Will and Austin and done more Twitch shows and didn't do just like a couple little Twitch things and then just focused mainly on what got them shut down uh, a decade ago. They would have thrived, but they just, they were like, they restarted G4 and they're like, okay, here's a couple little Twitch things that we're doing, but then everything else, we're just going to do all the old shows that we used to do that no one cares about now. And that uh, like, it's just going to get us canceled again. But hopefully, hopefully Will Neff doesn't kill OTK. Um, let's see. Aiden Ross's good friend was told not to associate with him anymore. What people were saying about that fucking clip, all I'm gonna say is, and if I see a clip, I'm skipping it. What people were saying about that fucking clip, all I'm gonna say is, and if I see a clip, I'm skipping it. There's one motherfucker specifically that I fucking love without to death, and I'll fucking die for that person, bro. And that motherfucker got told by a manager or corporation, some corporate pussy fucking white businessmen. Fucking don't associate with Aiden anymore. He's off the walls. That's all I'm going to say, bro. I, don't, I love everyone. I don't care anymore. That's what happens when you start hanging out with Nazis, bro. That's what happens. Like, what do you think? I'm yeah, asking. When I was like 12 years old, I'm not even reacting to shit like this. I want to fucking laugh. The manager is going to see that and be like, yo, to his client, don't hang out with them or else the same shit's going to happen to you. Fucking laugh. Yeah, and he said the white thing too. I was about to be like, wait. Aren't you like anti the C word? Like, aren't you anti anti white racism? I came here to talk, and I came here to fucking be me, bro. And I and I and I, and I love all of you, bro. But now I'm not in the best mood today, bro. My my fucking mental is fucked up. Not 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 what people are saying. Only because of things that you've done. It has nothing to do with anything else. Any like anything anybody else has done. Everything to do with your actions, Aiden. There are consequences to actions. Okay. Um, Michaela says she was flamed for her hot tub takes on housewives and calls out the hypocrisy of promoting fansly. Oh, you want to know what? This is actually, oh, that clip's gone. 
Uh, I kind of want to listen because Michaela doesn't always have base takes. Very often she has the most unbased takes uh, in existence. But, uh, ooh. um, but, uh, where'd the clip go? Oh, no. No, I lost it. No. Hold on. I want to see this. Um, where'd it go? Oh, fuck. Where did it go? Is it gone? Oh, here. Uh, no. Fuck, where'd the clip go? What? Oh, man. I wanted to watch it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Is there a clip mirror? Holy fuck, Michaela looks so different after her surgery. I was. Lena is an, okay. Why? I don't remember what my take was. I remember what your take was. It was literally the, like this argument that they got in is what ended the, the Housewives podcast, which was like Michaela, Milena, Maya, Britt, uh, Cutie Cinderella. It was a great podcast, but this, this argument they got into during the hot tub meta is what ended it. I remember, like, Milena ended up, like, calling out Brit and said, oh, yeah, Brit voted for Trump, and it just caused, like, all these issues between all of them. Milena is an, okay, why are we shit-talking, bro? That podcast was so long ago. Who cares? But I was right. She was. I, it, like I said, Michaela very unbased most of the time. This was a very good take that she had back during the Hot Tub Meta. Basically... They were all arguing over Hot Tub Meta. Cutie Cinderella and Milena and them were like, it's so bad, it needs to be off Twitch because what these girls are doing is causing a bunch of, of uh, like young dudes to come in my chat and say like sexualized stuff to me. Michaela's take was, hey, that's not the girls doing the streams problem. Like that, you can't blame the women like doing the Hot Tub streams for that. That's like, you gotta hold the men accountable that are doing that. Milena and Cutie kept... Dying on that hill that, no, we need to get rid of hot tub streams. It's their fault. It's the women's fault for doing it. They're causing this to happen to us. And I was very against that. Like, I was on Michaela's side. I was like, yeah, like, that's ridiculous. You hold the, the dumb chatters accountable, not the, the hot tub streamers who are, like, literally just doing content. Um, but I could see, I, I bet she's about to draw the comparison. Like, back then, Cutie and Milena being so against hot tub streams, but now, like, oh, fansly sponsorship, all good with it. But what I would say to that is, of course, people like Cutie, Milena, and all them, they can evolve. They can, like, have a take on something a year ago and then change how they feel about it. Um, but that was, that was Michaela's take, I remember. It was, they were trying to blame the hot tub streamers for, like, the harassment they were getting. And Michaela was like, no, you can't blame them. We have to empower them. We, but we have to hold the, the weirdos in chat accountable. It was a, it was a great take. But that, that's when the Housewives podcast ended. Uh, Brit did Brit like E Rob's uh girlfriend. I'm sure I bet Michaela did too though. I get I care. Michaela and Tyler 100 percent Trump voters. Easy. I literally was right. I literally said, "Who cares?" Everyone flamed me, and now look. exactly science. I was literally right. Now these motherfuckers promote Bansley and shit. I was literally right. Mm -hmm. But it's, um, it's true. I agree. She was, she was, but I think people like cutie and, uh, and Milena have just evolved and they don't feel that way anymore. Um, okay. I think that might be the last one. Um, let's see. Wait, what is this? Hassan got it twisted IRL at a casino. Hassan got it twisted IRL at a casino with a business card with Trainwreck's face on it. Okay. 
I literally carry this everywhere I go. It's in my wallet every oh, fucking day. Nice. Okay. And when I was playing slots for the first time in my entire fucking life, I would constantly put this and go, I'm going to get it twisted. And I would flip it to get it twisted. And I would place it on the button and I would hit it. Okay. I'm a very superstitious person. You guys know this is Turkish quality. I'm sorry. I'm a very superstitious person. I keep this with me at all times. Okay? And I literally believe that it brings me luck. There we go. <laughs> I would smack this fucking thing on the button when I'm playing slots. So the idea that this dude thinks that I fucking despise him, thinks that, like, I hate him or I've, ha I've had it out to get him from the jump is additionally hilarious. But, you know, it is what it is. Okay? Like we always say, Hassan is not anti train wrecks. Uh, Hassan was anti unregulated crypto gambling. Not even gambling as a whole, just unregulated crypto gambling. Um, but who knows? Hassan at any moment could be like, oh, yeah, well, poker has become an issue on Twitch if, if, if he feels like that. But uh, that's not what he was saying back then. Um,. Which experiments with sponsorships? Okay, we talked about that a little bit. But you know what? I think maybe I'll look into this a little bit more and we'll talk about it tomorrow because I still don't fully understand if that's exactly how it works. Like, these sponsors are just going to pay you and give subs? That's so fucked. That's so dumb if that's the case. I might still take one of those. Like I said, if, uh, as a small streamer, any money to me is good money. Like, I need money <laughs> right now. I'm very broke. Living off a credit card until I get paid on the 14th. But uh, but for big streamers, I hope they protest the shit out of that. Um, okay, yeah, we're done with live stream fails. I'm going to put this back. I forgot that I even had this here for so fucking long. Jesus. God damn, I don't even know if the bomb's still here at this point. And I, I've had that set for way too long. All right, let's see. Um, we might start watching Top Keck over Streamer TV. I know I used to not be as a, a big a fan of Top Keck, and I like Streamer TV, but Streamer TV has been pushing some narratives lately that I'm just not, not a fan of. First up, you were enjoying. I'm Aiden glad Ross. you were. Science. Now this week, Trimix TV calls out Aiden Ross because he rejected apology over a transphobic comment. Now, if you guys missed this clip, you can check it out in my Discord under Streamer News. The link is in the description. Here is Trimix TV's reaction to Aiden Ross's apology and response. Trimix TV reacts to Aiden Ross' apology. There's a clip. If you guys want to talk about this clip on Twitter, it's been ongoing on all these blog, blog uh, places of uh, basically something I said uh, about offending um, some type of group of people. And I just wanted, from the bottom of my heart, uh, apologize for absolutely f***ing nothing, okay? I'm Aiden Ross, and Aiden Ross is gonna say what the f*** he says. Yo, Aiden, if you're watching this, brother, I would argue that you have the pussy. You're too scared to lead a group of kids younger than you. You give in to what they think of you. The fact that I can stay with my decisions, stay with my principles and how Sounds I like feel, a bunch of projection no matter the to hate me. I get from both sides, I can usually pander to your community and say fuck the other side, that they'd be a great asset. To have your entire chat love me would be a great asset for me. But I don't do that. Because I I'm agree not, with that. I agree with that. Something that's going to give in, uh, give in to my own He could pander to them and it would be a great asset to him. I think that's why he is. Because I want to be approved by a bunch of kids that don't give a fuck if tomorrow I lose everything. You understand? And not to mention, you would be six times your size if you put your foot down and you led your community instead of being led by them. What you did right there about saying, oh. Same with you, Train. Oh, I apologize for nothing. That wasn't you. I know who you are off stream. That wasn't you. That was literally the insecure you that's pandering to a bunch of kids and is, is fearful of what those kids might think of him if he apologized. You're, you're scared of what kids will think of you because you'll look like a bitch to kids. Who f cares if you're a leader and you're truly confident and successful you don't give a f what a bunch of 18 year olds think about you well if you were a leader and truly confident and successful you would ban aiden ross 
you could say all you want about Aiden Ross being led by his audience. That could be true. But you know who you're being led by, Train Rex? Aiden Ross. You're being the pussy in this instance. If you didn't want to pander to his audience, you would ban him for being transphobic or being a bigot. But you don't. You're doing everything that you're accusing him of is exactly what you're doing in this situation, Train Rex. You're just projecting right now. Like I said, everything you said about Aiden could be true, but it's also true for you as well. Femrix TV's response to Aiden Ross clip. Right? He could have literally made the joke of, I don't care if you think, I don't care if you tell me you're a turtle or a, a, a uh, butterfly. Oh, yeah, science. Said, right? That I would still argue is a little transphobic, but you could say it's a joke and the platform is a little bit more free, fine. But to say kill slash them is not a joke. In no way, shape, or form can you cop out and say it's a joke. That's just a stupid thing to say. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Like, it's, it, it's wild to me. Now like, hold him accountable for that. If you don't hold him accountable for that, then you're just pandering to his audience and you're being led by Aiden and his audience. Those of you making excuses for him are the problem. You like, it's your platform, bro. Like, he's talking like he's like a, just a streamer on the platform criticizing his coworker when it's like, no, you're his boss and you could actually do something about it. It's, it's, like Ali I don't says know, that she so was dumb. fined for a hot tub tax on housewives and calls out. Okay, we already saw but this. We talked about that take. Was the argument was what he was basically trying to say is you brought the porn to them, whereas Cutie Cinderella was just advertising the location of the porn and letting them know that they could sign up with their Twitch, which is insane, by the way. How the? Because I'm pretty sure fans. Wait, like, do you, no, wait. Can you is is there a Twitch OAuth login for Fansly? No shot. Yep, they said you could sign up using your Twitch account. That's literally in the advertisement. No, itself. wait, hold on, I've got to look at that. There's no Good. way that's true. It oh is. Oh my true. God, there is. You it can is. sign in with your Twitch OAuth for Fansly. <laughs> what? Base. Wait, yep. but if you list a Fansly in your Twitch profile, don't you get banned? You do. Um, but do. the workaround to that, which I I agree, I think that that's dumb. I think you should be able to promote your your other sites, and people do. If you have it in your link tree, it's fine. But you can't, like, just directly put the link. Which is stupid. It's dumb. That's so dumb. It should just be allowed. But you, apparently you could advertise it on your But stream. I will die on this hill. Having a link that brings you to your OnlyFans site or a Fansly website is completely different than actually pulling up that porn and showing it to your audience that has a bunch of minors in it. That's weird and also illegal. Streamer award stream. It's that's that's why. Wait, that's so bizarre. What the? F Not the sound. Like I do train. agree that it's bizarre in the sense that like Twitch would allow it when it's like against their TOS. But you're just realizing how it the seems like Twitch is like, oh, when an individual creator does it, we're not for it. But if it's a big sponsor for us, we'll take it. That's that's hypocritical. I agree. Operate. Twitch should just allow. Nobody gives up. Also, is it fancy? Ninja on kick compared to Mixer. Why do you think that it can succeed and Mixer did not? Well, I think Mixer, I mean. What did Mixer do wrong? Because everyone's like, Sega has all the capital in the world, so it's not going to fail. It's like Microsoft has all the capital in the world, too. The issue with that, the main issue with Mixer compared to every other. Um, uh, I don't think kick, Stake has as much capital as Mixer or Microsoft. It, and it's, you know, it's abundantly clear how obvious, like they yeah i agree ramen they, i they agree took too long to get things done right i there agree was like that that part is a billion people that had to reach out to somebody else who had to reach out to somebody else who had to reach out to microsoft who had to reach out to somebody up top at microsoft even more to get like confirmation to change anything that's what you're saying right so like we when we when i when i went over to the platform right my moderators had like several calls with uh with mixer employees about what you know about improvements that everyone on our and my stream and myself included like what they could be doing differently that would just help the site out several calls hours wasted and one of them simply being okay let's be real though one of the reasons why kick is probably doing stuff so much faster is because they have twitch's source code remember when the twitch leaks happened and everybody's income was released not only was everyone's income released twitch's source code was released i guarantee i guarantee that kick is using some of twitch source code for their website just based on the fact that it looks exactly like it you know it's like the same website just a couple different colors you know
several, but one of the one of the main issues similarly being. But was, uh, I agree, though. I think Kick is a lot faster to act than a company like Microsoft. But I don't think Kick has near as much money as Microsoft. And paying for Amazon Web Services to keep those streams going is expensive, and I have a feeling it's going to get too expensive to the, for them to the point to where in a couple months they're like, oh, 95 split is gone. We're switching it down to 80, which is still better than Twitch. But I, have a, they're gonna keep, I think they're going to keep lowering it, and, or the website's just going to shut down eventually. There needed to be an easier way to... Hassan and Ludwig bringing up his European background. Now, for me, I, maybe this is my European background, I care less about porn. I care less about nudity. But I, kick, I, I do agree. Kick is uh, way faster acting than YouTube, than Mixer was. Uh, and that, which is why I've said discoverability on Kick is way better than YouTube. If you're going to move somewhere as a, a content creator, you're leaving Twitch and you're like, oh, YouTuber Kick, go to Kick. Like, of course. I, like, I think a lot of them are bots, but I see some streamers. I've seen some streamers I know who will go live and instantly have like 30 viewers like right away. I think a lot of them are bots. I think a, a lot of streamers on there will just have like 30 viewers, uh, 40 viewers. I've seen some people make jokes about that too, but uh, hey. My it. European background, oh my God. Mother you grew up in New Hampshire, dog. It's your libertarian roots that is causing you not to care about porn. Yo, this ye Wait, what is this? I Maybe this is my- There needed to be an easier way to- Hassan and Ludwig bringing up his European background. Now for me, I- Maybe this is my European background. I care less about porn. I care less about nudity. I- My European background. Oh my god. Mother you grew up in New Hampshire, dog. It's your libertarian roots that is causing you not to care about porn. Yo, this yee yee ass mother puts on a turtleneck has his hair all quaffed and he goes, maybe it's because of my European background. Uh, you know, we, oui, we, oui. ha, ha, ha. It's like, uh, maybe that is the reason. Who knows? I like the tete, you know? Retro tete. It's very nice. Okay. <laughs> he said, maybe it's because of my European background. <laughs> XQC, might go to kick. Yes, thanks for the good time. We see, this clip is from like three days ago. Yeah. Um, ah! We are, we literally already reacted to this. I have clips of it. I put it on my YouTube. And we're not reacting to that one again. I got it. <clears throat> okay, well. Lakari speaks out for the swaggers. Stop growing up! Fuck Hassan! Who cares? Who cares, man? True, fuck Hassan. Swag out! What did Hassan do? Everything. Are you sure you want to? I like swag. I like swag it out. I like swag it out. He's a little drunk. Yeah, you hold it. Falls on the difference okay. between streamers and YouTubers. Go check it out because it's sick. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until the next video, um, yeah, love you. Bye. Why is it, why are you so surprised that she wrote? the script for the video and do you think all youtubers do that shit? if they were good at freestyling they would be on twitch exactly <laughs> yeah, that's like every single youtube video starts off with like a script like, most like i i'm not every single one but a good majority like that's that's the whole point youtube is youtube edited content is scripted whereas streaming is is improv all right YouTube is like the special needs class. After we do <laughs> 18 know. takes. No, force it. Get no. one fluent sentence. That's not. The, that's Surely not. No. His perk went back no, fire. it's not. And it means it can be eliminated one hit. It's just planned content versus improv. That's not what it but is. So can you. Hey, that's perfect. No. Oh. I'm sure we won't die, guys. Ah! I want to play this game. It's like 13 bucks. I might get it when I get paid. He's hiding in the bush, guys. Because right now, like I said, I, I have if you I have a dollar video, in my bank account. Drop a log. And if you want to keep up with the latest news and I'm and living clips, off a credit card, sure subscribe and turn notifications. And I'm not about to put my credit card in my in Steam because it'll be over First, after that. So yes, good case opening. I just can't buy anything. Let's just open what we got for now. But uh, I think I might get that game when I get paid. You guys ready?
Okay. Is that a good one? Like, I don't understand. Is that like a really good knife? I don't... I don't know. I don't know anything about this. Tainted Growl, The Fall okay. of Avalon. Um, I'm going to put on a video real quick. I got to go to the bathroom.